Hi guys, Helen here from workwithhelenlingo.com. I want to shoot this video because today is my baby, my son's 17th birthday. And it got me thinking, <coughs> excuse me, of all the challenges that I'd gone through on this day 17 years ago. Um, my son, I went to, um, and Basically, the reason I'm sharing this is because I know as single parents and other parents, we all go through challenges. But it's incredible to look back now at 17 years and that toughest time I had before his birth. What happened? I went for my scan at 36 weeks. I was living in the UK and the scan at 36 weeks, they told us that he was lying across me, he was transverse, and I had placenta preview, which meant placenta was coming down first. So it was quick get you into hospital because if your placenta comes first, you can basically hemorrhage. So I rushed back to work and it was quite awkward because I'd said I'd only, I'd only been in, the, in my job a few months and I went back to work and said, I'm sorry, I've got to go, you know, I've got to finish today. And so I spent the next um, month in hospital. I wasn't allowed to leave and I felt the biggest fraud because across from me in the ward I like I say I was there I was fine physically I just he was just laying across me and had this placenta preview problem I had women with preeclampsia which is really life-threatening and so but I, I I wasn't in the space to appreciate how lucky I was I did feel like the biggest fraud but so we were there I was in for a month and and then he decided to move himself which was good so they discharge me now I lived in Oxford England and my family were in Wales so we wanted they'd planned to do a cesarean when he was transverse but they didn't want to do a cesarean because they don't do it unless it's necessary so we were begging them pleading them to do a cesarean or my, my mother was up and they said no 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 it's got to be you know a natural birth so I was discharged and then his birth date came and went he didn't come Come on still short I was induced twice then on the second time inducing me he starts to come and it was horrible labor um sometimes when well it's it's known to be that when they give you the um prostaglandin which induces your birth it's painful. labor can be a lot more painful anyway long so short he came 14 hours later he arrived and um he i tore as he came out and the consultant who'd been um it was quite funny the consultant who'd um, been looking after me when he was transverse, came to see me and it was really embarrassing because I was exhausted and the anaesthetic, the, um, from the, um, um, my words go now, the med medicines I've been given, um, I was sick and so I was saying goodbye and being sick. Anyway, to cut also short, Joshua came out and he was blotchy and he was big, big baby. And they said at first, were you diabetic when you were pregnant? I said, no, no, I wasn't. Anyway, long story short again, because I'd spent so long in the hospital, they rushed me up, well I say they rushed me, took me up to a private ward, which I was very fortunate, I had a telephone and a, and, a, and a TV, but I was exhausted, I was shattered, you know, a month in hospital, and then 14 weeks, 14 hours labour, and I was shattered. And then at six o'clock the next morning, I might have been earlier, they came and took Joshua off me. He had a problem, he was big and blotchy, he had sticky blood, which we found out later. But they took him off me, he went to special baby care, so again it was challenging. He spent five days in special baby care. We didn't know what was wrong with him. We thought we didn't know whether he'd live or die. And it was such a stressful time. I was trying to breastfeed him. That wasn't working. And again, <laughs> he was the biggest fraud there because there were prem babies. I mean, he was this big eight pound, big baby, blotchy and, you know, and then there were these tiny prem babies. And um, and you really did see the circle of life there because these prem babies looked like old people. Anyway, fortunately, they discovered what was wrong with Joshua. They gave him blood transfusion and he came out. And now look at him. I mean, you've, you'll see my photo, his photos on my blog. But just an amazing, I mean, talk about challenging. We didn't know he'd be live or die. Just incredible. So my message here single parents is, you will get through these challenges. You know, I mean, I wasn't a single parent back then. I was with um, his dad. But we got through that and there have been other challenges since. And I've had many challenges during my single parenthood. But you get through them. And the, you get through them, you get stronger. And you're able to go through the more and more challenges. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And if once, you, once you're in that headspace, you know there's a reason you have these challenges. Everything else for a reason. You're where you are supposed to be. And by going through these, you'll come out like a butterfly. Just amazing, fantastic. So, sorry this video is so long, but 
had to share that story because I'm sure there's other people out there who've been through similar challenges. You will get through this and come out stronger. Click on the link below, get to know me on Facebook, click on the link below if you want to share your stories and inspire people and change the world one person at a time. Until next time, take care.